A year ago, we planted our first fruit trees. And um, the first four fruit trees we got were two peaches and two apples. And they're both low chill, so we're supposed to be able to get fruit off of them in Florida. Um, the peaches I know we'll definitely be able to get. And I've heard some people even say that they have apples down here and they get some. But we'll see on the apples. I figured it would be a really cool experiment. But um, those four trees Davis had gifted me for Christmas. And then, uh, just a few months later, uh, Lowe's was give, doing a big huge giveaway where you could text a code to, uh, to them and they would send you a, a link. And you would go to that link and it would give you a random gift card for anywhere between five and five hundred dollars. And uh, I almost didn't get it. I almost didn't do it because I was having problems with my phone. But I ended up trying. I ended up getting a hundred dollars. So I told Davis, we're going on a shopping spree. We're getting fruit trees. And normally when I look at like those kind of places for fruit trees, all they have are like the big ones and they're like 50 or $60 a piece. So I'm thinking, cool, we'll get like one or two fruit trees. Might even come a little out of pocket, but that would be cool. No, I found a section where the fruit trees were only five to $15. And we got a bunch, as you can see. Then later on, of course, I already had some bananas, some um, dwarf Cavendish bananas that I had raised from a while back. Um, but the person who we bought our uh, um, camper trailer from was so gracious and kind. He grew um, ice cream bananas. I think that's what they're called, ice cream bananas. I've always wanted to try them, but I've never been able to get some. He gifted us with three cuttings. Um, and, and look at them, they're doing amazing. The first trees that we got were, of course, this row right here, the peaches and the apples. And the peaches, this peach is looking like it's doing pretty good. It's coming out of winter. We've got some blossoms up here at the top. And then we are really excited because we made sure that we um, plucked off the blossoms in the first year, just because that's what we were told. But this year, we've got peaches coming in. Look at that tiny little peach, it's so cute. And there's a whole lot of them coming in. I don't even know how many, I haven't counted exactly, but they're coming in. They're coming in, we're gonna have peaches. So this peach tree's doing good. Unfortunately, this peach tree, we had a little uh, issue with the livestock getting in and uh, they pushed, we had put round pen panels a triangle around them to try and protect them and at one point they had pushed it over this and ate it down with to, to no leaves and it came back and it tried hard but ultimately it it died and it's like it's pretty much dead now so I've got to dig that one up and replace it then here are our and here are our apple trees they're doing pretty good um, I do need to stake them to pull the branches out so that they can spread out a little bit and not be just going straight up. Um, that's on my list of things to do in the next week or two. And then the next thing is our fig trees. Now we got a few varieties. We got three varieties of fig. This one is the magnolia fig and we've been getting figs on them all year actually. Um, our first figs were tiny. Um, we probably should have plucked them off and actually I did pluck off majority of them the first time but after that the next ones that came in I let them grow um, the only thing that I got to do now is I need to select which I don't know if they would be canes or stalks I'm going to keep because we aren't gonna let it bush like this we're gonna start cutting back the outer ones and letting it be uh, a tree so that's what we got to work on and this was another one Another variety that we got. And let me see if we still have the tag. Another thing on my list is to come in here and pull out this grass because we had mulched it. But the grass has just come back in, so I'm just going to basically just sod up the grass, just scrape the salt, the grass off the top. But these have been coming in beautifully, and they're huge. Get a good shot of them. And then the third variety. 
Which one of these is the Olympian? And I can't remember what the name of the other one was. But this was our third. So we got three varieties of fig. Then we got, and it's bushing out now. And actually, I wonder, ah, we do have, let's see, we got some weeds in there. Which will be getting pulled out whenever I, let's see here. Mark on this. And it's just a mess here. But it's mowed now. And I can get in here and start working on cleaning this up and getting ready for spring. But this is a variegated kumquat. And uh, variegated means, actually here you can see. So the leaves almost look like they're painted. They have this really cool two-tone design on them. And the fruit is the same way. And I don't think there's any fruit coming in yet, but that should be coming in soon. It's been growing. Oh yeah, look, see? It's actually, this actually looks like maybe some, either some blossoms or it's further branching out. And I'm not sure if this just bushes or you train this into a tree. We're gonna find out. I'm still doing my learning. Then we got, oh, I don't want you. You go away, ants. Then we've got two calamondins. And there, this one was struggling a bit, but it's looking like it's doing better now. It's starting to grow in that one. This one's kind of exploding. It's doing way better than the other one. And I don't know, I don't, I don't know why, but it's just doing really, really well. So I'm letting it grow up and then I will start, once it gets to a certain height, I'll start cleaning out the underside and training this into a tree as well. This is a sad sight. This was a lime tree, a key lime tree. And if, um, if you are not familiar with key lime pie, oh man, it's just something you gotta have. But um, down here, I, I love key lime pie. My best friend loves key lime pie. And so I wanted to grow key lime so I could make fresh key lime pie. And unfortunately, our key lime totally died. So I got to replace that one. And then over here, we almost lost this tree during the hurricane, during Hurricane Dorian, whenever it, whenever it brushed past us. But this is a Ponderosa lemon. And I believe that it is a cross between an orange or something. I, I think it's a cross between a, a lemon or an orange and a um, pomelo because the fruits on these are supposed to be huge, which is exciting to me because that just means so much more lemonade and other tasty stuff that you can make with lemons. And then that brings us to our banana trees. We currently have, I planted three dwarf Cavendish in a kind of a triangle. This is a pup coming in and I think there's a couple more pups coming in but you basically cut those off normally. But I've got those. And then here is the ice cream banana. And the dwarf Cavendish obviously is much smaller than the ice cream. I still have never gotten any bananas off, but I understand they're very heavy eaters, feeders, eaters. They like lots of food. And look, we got a pup coming in. But um, not two pups actually coming in. It's a tiny little pup right there. But we will be, once I get in here and start scraping up the grass, top layer of grass up so that they can not have so much crowding going on and it's easier for me to keep it up and keep it clean, uh, we'll scratch the, scrape the gra grass out and then mulch it and that'll help. And then they'll get their dose of uh, organic fertilizer for the spring. So I am super excited to see how this grows and transforms over the next uh, several years because um, I eventually plan on this being just a nice three rows of all different kinds, all the fruit we could ever want. Leon, Leon eats a lot of fruit. I eat a lot of fruit. We love, we love all the different things. So we want to be able to try and provide some of that for us instead of having to buy it at the store. So that would be so awesome. I can't wait. Can't wait. So hopefully next year when I do another update on the orchard, there'll not only be more trees, 
that there will be a house right there. <laughs>